so it's about 1990. This is when Cube is breaking up with N.W.A. Right. So word out in L.A. is every time Cube go do a show, Easy is sending dudes to wherever he's performing, and they bait him into the bathroom of the venue, block it off, and jump him. Damn. So what Cube did, at, you know, I found this out afterwards. He got some brothers called Lynchmo. Right. Shorty, JD, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Shorty and JD is gang dudes for real. They was called in LA set trip and they acted. Right? Right. So, they are they in New York on 42nd Street, old New York, right? So, we had the seminar again this 1990. Like three years after I don't battle Melvin Cash, but every year we go, and it's that where the ball drops in New York. Right. In, in July, you know that that second week in July, everybody's out there again. So me and the guards, we run up in one of the stores to get some Phillies, roll some weed, and the guards start laughing. Of course, there's two dudes in there. Swole. Rollick like right, Tukey Williams. Jerry curls to their back. White beaters on. Chucks and shorts. Dicky shorts. Tan Dicky shorts. So my man's in them laughing like, yeah, look at me. I don't even think Boys in the Hood was out yet, because it wasn't. Mm -hmm. But I had already been out to LA, so I already knew what it was. So, and like I said, these brothers had Jerry curls. To their shoulders, to their back, but they smooth, and they got tattoos on their back, Marvin and you know, boom, boom. So my dude started laughing like, "Yo, look at these motherfuckers!" I was like, "Nah, bro, I'll be easy. They from LA, and they gang do. Trust me, they ain't bullshit." So then, JD, my man, who just came home, by the way, JD was like, "Yo, what up?" You know, we know, we know the homie King, son. So I said, peace, man, what's good? Y'all from LA he was like, yeah. So I'm like, yo, what's good? Y'all smoking? Y'all drinking? Like, nah, we got smoke, whatever. So I bought a box of Phillies. So. Like, yo, y'all drinking? So I told my man, to let me go get some 40s. But I'm staying, you know, I lived in New York, but I had a room in the Marriott. Right. So, you know, they doing their thing, so we walking back. So I'm kicking it and everything. So while I'm kicking it, they tell me, if you see us start fighting in the hotel, we got beat with cats because they trying to jump Q. We run with Q. So I said, all right, Cube, I know the dude, whatever, whatever. I ain't never met him before. This. I mean, you know, other than that, in right, LA, right, at right. the thing, but I ain't meet Q. I met Dre and Easy. Right. So now, y'all running with Q? Yeah, yeah. And this when Q had left NWA. So, and he really ain't have no music, you know what I mean? The Source Magazine was telling you, that was our internet. Right. The Source Magazine, Rap Masters, Word Up. That's where you got what was going on. So, okay, I'm like, yo, so y'all stand over here? He's like, nah, we in another hotel. So I said, yo, I got a room in the hotel, y'all come fuck with me. And that's when he said, yo, if you see us start beefing, fall back, because we squabbling with some dudes. Mm -hmm. So I said, yo, you in New York, bro. You fucking with the gods, and not only in my god body, I'm Zulu Nation. Green Book. Not a fake Zulu Nation, like other people. We'll get into that. Right. I'm Green Book Zulu. B.O. Zulu King, Shaka Zulu, Africa Band Body. Peace to the God. Sorry about that incident, whatever, whatever Bam is dealing with. You feel me? Right. With whatever, whatever Bam is still. Our forefather, Bam, is still the one gave me knowledge. I never bear witness to none of that shit. So anyway, we walk and I said, bro, you in New York. If somebody rushed you while you with us, they rushed us. So, we, we, if you seen the movie Straight Outta Compton? Yeah. Remember there was a shot in there where it said the Marriott Marquis Hotel when they was going down the escalator? Yeah. That yeah. never happened to nobody in N.W.A. That shit was me, J.D., Sh 
Shorty, Jinx, and I don't even think that T-Bow was there. And Q, they rushed Q off. Security, when we start fighting, security had grabbed Q and they dipped out the exit. Me, Shorty, and JD, and T-Bone, no, me, Shorty, JD, and Jinx was fighting on the eighth floor in the Marriott. I hit three dudes with the table, but not before one of them punched me in the face. Wow. <laughs> so we coming up the escalator, so when we come up the escalator, the beef was with above the law. Shout out to ATL, they my brothers go Mac and them lay low and them. You know, we come up the escalator, so they like peace it on me, King Son, above the law, they gave me that. So I stepped to the side. So then Shorty and JD coming up and they Jerry curl down. You know, they, they got their names on their hats. And, you know, I stepped to the side and Shorty, my beloved, you know, Shorty, they start having words and I wasn't hearing it, but so I heard somebody say, let's go to the bathroom. They said, let's go to the bathroom, like in the lobby. We had to go to the bathroom in the Marriott. So we go to walk, you see a bunch of dudes start going to walk to, you know, to the bathroom. So all of a sudden, while they walking to the bathroom, Shorty stopped and hit one of them above the law. Wow! Then one of the brothers from above the law hit Shorty. Wow! Then the brother who hit Shorty, I hit him. Wow! There's some big bouncing niggas, I don't even know what he came with yeah. me, like, wow, I was like, whoa, the fuck? So now we all WWF. Right, the way right. Boom, 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 boom. Cube got rushed off. And he was staying in the Peninsula Hotel on the other side of town. So we fighting, so boom, 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 I'm fighting, shorty fighting. So we, I run the shorty, they stomping JD, JD trying to fight. Then they got Jinx, bow, bow. But this, this, it was like some WWF shit, and it was fun. So it's like, yo, you good, short, you good, JD, you good, blah, 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 yeah, come on, nigga. Then what happened, I said, Zulu. So when I said Zulu, I called B.O. Right. Which was B.O. was, rest in peace, my brother bug out. B.O. was the Zulu Nation enforcer. B.O. wasn't the bullshit. Right. So B.O., now everything's stopping. You feel me? Zulu Nation is involved. Everything's stopping. You feel me? Yeah, I feel So you. King Sun did that, and B.O. was like, yo, boom, boom, son, what up? So we stopped everything. Wasn't nothing leaving those airports. Ain't no L.A. niggas. Ain't nobody leaving these airports. They had to call Mike Conception in the wheelchair on the same gang. Yeah. He had to fly out and squash that beat. But out of that beat, JD, Shorty, Q became our brothers. Now when they come to town, right? Shorty was the first they came to town, then they cut off their Jerry curves. I'm like, sure. Short said I'm getting into Islam. JD had cut his shit off, but Man, JD always went hard to the body, but come fuck with JD. JD is a Tukey Williams type. Of right. JD is wild dude. But I love JD, I love his grandma. But that was my LA fan. Q, you know, so it was the time they came over and Ice T was doing a syndicate thing. You rap syndicate. Yeah, yeah. I'm you that. Ass, myself, Law Finesse, Ice right. T, Donald D. So I gave Cube a tape, said, yo, Cube, when you go to LA, give, give this tape to Ice so my shit could be on the syndicate album. Ice never got that tape. But it wound up, there's a break in the song that says, the gal wicked, jama she don't want, second down the gal wicked, jama she don't want, second down the gal wicked. And it wound up being, Ice Cube be getting wicked, everybody come around and get wicked. So he kind of took my shit. Right, right. So we go into, uh, um, I'm listening one day and I'm like, damn, that cute wicked shit sound familiar though. Know, what he use? What he said? So my baby mom's at the time was like, that's the shit from your song, In Pursuit of Town. I called Ice-T, no, I called McBenson. 
make cool ice, ice cold cube, then I call sure this was three way. We we all on three way phone. Uh huh. You feel me? Yeah. So long story short, you know, we had to wake up Kim. Cube white, she like son, it's three in the morning. I said, Yeah, but it's six o'clock here. <laughs> Cube got in the phone, I said, Yo, God, man, yo, you get my shit. Ice on the phone, Mick on the phone, Shorty on the phone, so Cube like son, you bugging, bugging. Alright, so I said, Cube, you come to New York, sit down with me, man. If you don't, we got a problem. Ain't never heard from him again. And he came to New York to do a show. Like in 93. He came to New York to do a show. I paid to get in and I disguised myself. Went up to the booth. And he was like, yeah, yeah, be true to the game. I got up in the DJ booth, the house with the mic. Yeah, motherfucker, I told you when you come to New York, you gonna see me. You gonna see me? Now you see me. He was shook. And he went Dub. Now Dub was my man. From my video, it's a heat up. Yeah. Dub C, Aladdin. Aladdin was in that seminar. Right. Dub C and Crazy Two. All them niggas was my family. All them brothers was my family before I knew Q. And I ain't gonna say before they knew Q, but Q didn't know them when they was running with me. Right, right. In LA.